Hi guys. Popular Nigerian activist Aisha Yusuf has reacted to the coup in the Niger Republic. Niger News records that the President of Niger Republic, Mohamed Bazoum, was held hostage by discounted members of the elite presidential guard on Wednesday, who in turn were given an ultimatum by the army to release the embattled Islamic leader. The West African bloc ECOWAS condemned what it called an attempt coup and called on the plotters to release Bazoum immediately and without condition. Bazoum's election was the first democratic transition of power in a state that has witnessed four military coups since independence from France in 1960. President Bola Tinubu, who doubles as the chairman of ECOWAS, stated that the body would not tolerate any situation that incapacitates the democratically elected government. Speaking on the cares in the Niger Republic, Yusuf insisted that the same situation is being replicated in Nigeria. The activist insisted that Tunubu is not a legitimate president. Speaking via Twitter, Yusuf wrote, There is no difference between what happened in Niger and what happened in Nigeria. Until we learn not to differentiate between political and military coup, democracy will continue to be at risk. And these have generated reactions. I go, I don't see anything good in what Yoruba Aousa do in this country. It only should be do things in this country just what until Igbo became just wait until Igbo became president in 2050. Okay, I don't really get that. My friend, she is not about overthrowing Nigeria government, but follow the event that led to coup on the Niger Republic and let's discuss. Good talk. My brother, Matthew, nobody is fighting each other, but my dear, let the truth be told, things have fallen apart in this country. Tinubu is not the problem. Mr. Peter Obi is not the problem too. Number one problem we have is ex-president Muhammad Buhari. He has created evil vacuum for we Nigerians. He damaged a lot of things for us and now left to a fifth country. Thank you. The sooner Bola Metunubu begins to shut these people, the better for the country. Shut up. For what? This lady is an element of anarchy, an enemy of democracy. So you want military to take over. Truly, you are not a Democrat. These are reactions from Nigerians. Meanwhile, the senator, the former senator who represented the uh, Aduna Centra, Senator Sheusani has expressed surprise at how some Nigerians are supporting the announcement of the military coup in the Niger Republic. Niger News reports that soldiers in the West Africa country announced a coup on national TV, stating that they had dissolved the constitution, suspended all institutions, and closed the nation's borders. Record that the residents and the office of the Niger president, Mohamed Bazoum, was blocked off on Wednesday by members of the elite presidential guard. However, the reason for the act was unclear. The landlocked West African state is one of the most unstable nations in the world, experiencing four coups since independence from France in 1960 as well as numerous other attempts at power. In a post via Twitter on Thursday, the former lawmaker said military rule must be totally rejected and resisted in West Africa. According to him, military rule is not a situation, even though the West African democracy is not perfect. 
Sani noted that there is no perfect democracy anywhere and it is surprising to see some young Nigerians supporting it. He added that the political class may have disappointed and frustrated many. However, struggling to get a democracy right is still better. He wrote, military rule must be totally rejected and uh, resisted in, in, in West African countries. Our democracy is not perfect and there is no perfect democracy anywhere. He said military rule is not the solution. I am surprised to read comments in the social media. It appeared that many young people are now in support of it. I understand the disappointment and the frustration with the political class. It is still better we continue to struggle to make our democracy better until we get it right, he had said. All this while I'll be saying people were frustrated with the way our, our political class actually handling the, the rules and all that. They are very greedy. They don't care about the masses. That is number one. They don't care. Like, I said this before now. Look at the issue of Boko Haram and bandits. These people, they said they know those people who are sponsoring them, but they cannot disgrace them. They cannot name them. And you are going after bandits. And those people who are sponsoring them, they are still there. The more you go after those people, they will still recruit more because the, 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 the strength that is still giving them water is still there. So you see. And they will still use your mouth to tell you, say there are some persons so, who are benefiting from this insecurity. You know. And you don't want to do anything about it because you don't want to spoil their, their, their business. It is bad. Our leaders should learn. They should understand that, that, that uh, everything has limits. It gets as good to push person. It's just like you push person, you know, inside toilet. You understand the kind of power when the person will take care it, when he will take, follow you, you know, drag the door. They should understand that people are frustrated. Military is not better, but they themselves should do something. They should change from their ways. I'm dropping it, guys. Can you share your thoughts below the comment section? Please. Don't